Moo Moo, did you find your big brother? Is that your big brother, Moo Moo? She's like, I don't know. Let me smell. Um, I'm still not sure. Are y'all ready? <laughs> yes, we're waiting on you. Go okay. get in the car. <laughs> They do have food here and I decided to go ahead and come with them so I could eat a little lunch while they do a little wine testing. Tasting? Did I say testing? Sorry, tasting. Anyways. You can have menus. You can read. Thank you. We'll be back in a minute. Alright, so. Alright, so here's their menu. Alright, well, all they have there is um, pastas, so I decided, well, we actually decided that we wanted a burger, so we're going to go find a burger joint. Yes, that sounds much better. So, a lady told us that the tavern has really good cheeseburgers, we're going to try there. Yay, burgers! Um, can I get this uh, Southwestern sourdough burger? Can I have, which is better? I want to get coleslaw and the fries, but can I get a side of fries or a side of coleslaw? I'll figure it out for you. Yeah, whichever is cheaper. I actually want to get um, the same thing. Yeah. The Southwestern sourdough, medium well. Um, but I, want, I just want fries. You're going to fries? Yeah. Well, how are the sweet potato fries? I like the regular fries better, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Can I get a little thing of uh, mayo? Oh, yeah, mayo and fruit too. Thank you. <laughs> We got the same thing, didn't we? Yeah. more wine tasting and I don't drink so I'm just gonna do a little strolling through shops and waste some time while they're getting their drunk on. <laughs>
Ooh, that's a cool antique stroller. That's too funny. Beautiful. It's a vineyard and a winery. So we're here at Bubbling Ponds Preserve. There's a trail here, and the ponds are over there where they breed the fish. No fishing equipment on premises. All dogs must be on the. Yeah, so here are the ponds. There are quite a few of them spread out over here. So this is Black Hawk Trail. Look how beautiful that is. I definitely want to come back tomorrow. And the birds just singing. Loud birds up there. So yep, this is something we can come do tomorrow. Hey, what are you doing, honey? Hmm? <laughs> For her to take a hike tomorrow. Hey, Asha, take, uh -huh. take a hike. I am. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you for watching Moo Moo. And I'm gonna need you to feed your dog. He's got um, a dirt pie mustache. <laughs> it's like dirt all around his mouth. What is, um, Moo Moo, get out of there. What is Buckley anyways? Lhasa Apso and Tibetan Terrier. Cause someone asked so about him. I answered. Oh, did you? Okay, through. cool. <laughs> all right, Moo Moo, come on. Good girl. All right, go. Good girl. All right, so I decided to bring Moo Moo back here. Uh, it's towards the end of the day, but it's still beautiful, and I wanted to go ahead and get um, a walk-in. It's only 1.8 miles total, so we should be able to do that pretty quickly. So it's definitely a beautiful path. It reminds me of the East Coast because it's so lush here, and I definitely don't feel like I'm in the Arizona desert at all, as Moo Moo sniffs grass. Does the grass smell good, Moo Moo? Oh, just look how lush it is. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of the East Coast. here by the bubbling ponds fish hatchery where they breed the fish and they're trying to restore native fisheries which is super cool here are some of the fishes seasons of change and here are some of the birds that migrate cool the bald eagle So this is a hatchery full, and this is what it looks like empty. There's two ways you can take. This way right here, which is eh, okay. 
And then there's the Black Hawk Trail, which is this way, and this looks awesome. We're going this way. Cool old fence, come on you. So they have benches where you can sit and watch and enjoy wildlife. Just the beautiful scenery. Although these trees are a bit creepy. Wow, those are some big awesome trees right there. Wow, it's huge. I hear some kind of bird. Sounds like a cat. <laughs> uh oh, tree down, tree down. Wow, it's really beautiful here. Wow, there is a bird right there. It's huge, just sitting there. That's cool. I don't know if you can actually see it. Not sure what kind of bird it is. There it goes. Wow, that was a huge bird. This place is so lush, it doesn't even feel like a desert. Other than the stickly looking trees. Pretty cool looking here. Awesome place to hike. So, I'm not sure if I want to turn around right now because I'm not sure how far this trail goes and if it circles back around. It's getting kind of late. Ooh, what's this? Mm, nothing on the board. I wonder if this place gets flooded because it does have the reeds that like to grow in water. So, yeah, I think that we're going to turn around because I don't want to get locked in here. There was a fence and someone could close me up in here. And plus it's getting dark, almost nighttime. So yeah, let's head back to Panda. We can always revisit this place. Pretty cool though. So yeah, the trail does continue on. Yeah, so it just keeps on going and it goes further that way instead of looping back around. So, oh, it's beautiful though. Nice another bench to sit and enjoy nature. So, yeah, Moo Moo, you ready? It's almost dark, no more sun. It's behind the mountains. All right, let's head back. I got a flashlight, but I still don't want to be out here in the dark time. All right, come on, let's jog it back, Moo Moo. Go, go, go. Well, it's almost getting dark, so I'm going ahead and cut on the flashlight. Go, Moo Moo. I guess I probably should have waited until tomorrow to do this hike. <laughs> oh well, it was nice. They have these big piles of wood here. Creepy, creepy. I think no, is it creepy? All right, now this part is real creepy. It was beautiful during the daylight, not so much at night, with the hovering trees and everything. Yeah. Are you scared, Moo Moo? All the creepy sounds at night. She's like, I'll lead the way. Yeah, no, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> Why are you slowing down? Go. Yes, even that once lovely bench is now in a creepy spot. Yeah, that bird sounds creepy as hell at night too. It's surprising how dark it gets so quickly. <sighs> Good thing I was smart enough to bring a flashlight though. Yay, we made it back to the creepy fence. Go, Moo Moo. <laughs> Ew, bug. All right, thankfully we're almost back to Panda. Oof. And there goes Panda. Awesome. Yay, we made it back. Yay, and the fence is not locked. Good thing. All right, let's go, Moo Moo. You ready to get out of here? She's like, yes. I'm freaked out just a little bit. All right, oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, it's time to get on the road and head into town so I can 
um, edit this video and upload it for y'all. So before I let you go, I want to send a special thank you to my newest Patreons. Thank you, David and Janice. Thank you, William Flowers. And also, Chuck Cowsert. Thanks, y'all. You're fabulous. Well, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with us today. Sorry it was a bit creepy there at the end. It was for me, definitely. So we will see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Love y'all. Mwah.